Hello comic book guys and gals, and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. I am your host, Bill Miller. Today we have some X-Men comic books that we picked up in an online auction. Um, if you average it out by book, we pay $2.50 a book. Not a great bargain, certainly not outstanding, um, nothing huge in here, but some pretty cool comics, and for the most part, they're all in mid to high grade, the majority of them being in higher grade. So let's get started digging in with some show and tell, and we have X-Men Annual number five. This is from 1981, written by Chris Claremont, art and cover by Brent Anderson. Uncanny X-Men number 255. This is from 1989 and it features the first appearance of Matsuo Suriyaba, a Japanese crime lord. If I got that right, then I am outstanding. Samurai Ken can tell me if I mispronounce that. Number 249. This features the first appearance of Whiteout, a Savage Land Mutate. I think my high school paper was my first appearance of Whiteout. We have X-Men number 240 from 1989, art and cover by Mark Silvestri. Two thirty seven Interior Art and Cover Art by Rick Lenardi. Two hundred and thirty four. Classic cover, and this issue, Madeline Pryor, begins turning into the Goblin Queen. Number 225, from 1988, this features the first appearance of Roma. Two seventeen. In this issue, Dazzler joins the X Men. Number two hundred and thirteen. This is from nineteen eighty seven, and it's the first cameo of Mr. Sinister. And lastly, we have number 186. This is from 1984, written by Chris Claremont, interior art and cover art by Barry Windsor Smith. And 
And that will do it for the X-Men comic books that we have for our haul today. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. And if you did, I would encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted as soon as I release new videos. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. And remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.